Okay guys, so I just wanted to make a video to let you know what I've been doing for the past week. I've actually been working on a lot of candles and particularly candles that will be sold at the bakery as uh, souvenir gifts. And I've also been working on some candles that are specifically made for Smith Island. I actually got um, some labels printed. So I have been using a Smith Island Candle Company as my, as my company name. I figured that's a way to, you know, make it a little more professional and personal so that when people come to the island to visit, they can actually take home candles or other items that actually have Smith Island on them. Uh, I've been working on these. These are little mini candles and they are SI candles, which is Smith Island. They're all the same scent. The thing about souvenir candles is I want to make them inexpensive and I want it to be like a grab and go product so that if someone goes to the bakery and wants something that says Smith Island, they can grab a little candle like this. I've also made secret beach candles. And the cool thing about these candles is they have little pieces of sea glass in them and they smell so good. I'm actually very, very proud of this candle for all of you who've seen the secret beach that Ellie and Captain Terry showed us. That inspired me to make the Secret Beach Candle. The Smith Island Candle is a different scent, of course. Um, it's kind of floral with sea salt, uh, it's beachy, really nice. Has the same sea glass in it. So those will be sold in the bakery. I'll be making more of those. Um, that's just where I started. And then I made these little souvenir gifts. <laughs> little glass jars, I have the Smith Island label on it. So if people want to bring home something that says Smith Island, they can pick up something like this for like five bucks. There's little secret treasures in here. There's beads, there's a, there's a little elephant in each one. Um, it's just, you know, cute little paper stars. Just something cute that they can pick up when they're at the bakery, take it home with them. Um, these are actually hand-dipped birthday candles and they come with a little card inside. I made quite a few of these, so these are being sold at the bakery as we speak. They're really cute, simple, inexpensive. So what I'm gonna do today is record souvenir candles. And the thing about these little candles is they're gonna be same thing, going to be very simple to make, um, very inexpensive, and I think I'm just going to do two different scents. So I think I'm going to use a blue wax and a gray wax, which I have right here. This blue wax is already chopped up and ready to be boiled down, and then I have a gray wax right here. I, want, I don't want too many different scents. I want it to be simple. They're either gonna pick the blue one or the gray one, and we'll keep it under, under 10 bucks. And these got bigger labels on them. Smith Island Candle Company. Pretty design on the back that the wax will show through. The design is clear, the glass, it's like sea glass, so when I fill these candles, that's, that's gonna really show through and be cute. And I think I am just going to make these white. Um, simple is best for souvenir candles. So, what I'm gonna do with these is I'm going to add my wicks, I'm going to use the economy wicks because the candles are so small and they're going to burn easy on their Oi. own. Nothing expensive. We're going to keep it simple. Ah. <laughs> you watching mommy make candles? Yeah. 
my little helper. So I'm going to go ahead and put the wicks in the little candles and we are going to start melting our wax. Got my water, very hot in a pan, not boiling. Keeping it on low heat. I'm gonna take my wax and put it in the Ziploc bag, as I always do. And I'm going to put it in the pot to melt. So the way I'm gonna put my wicks in, I'm gonna use my glue gun. I'm gonna put glue on the bottom of each wick, and then I'm gonna stick them in, and that's how we get the wicks to stick. I used to use uh, the little round wick stickers, but I found that glue gun is the best method. So if you are making candles at home, definitely need a glue gun. just to make them shorter. I'll cut them even more when they're done. But right now I just wanna make them shorter so they're easier to work with. And now it's time for our wax. As I said before, simple is better with these little souvenir candles so that I can keep it inexpensive. So while these candles are cooling, I can show you one of the other candles that I made last week. This is the Smith Island Maryland candle. And the cutest part about this candle, that the tide is high right now, so you can't see the little crabs hiding inside of the candle. But as the candle burns and the tide gets lower, the little crabs will appear. I thought it was a pretty cute idea. It's very fitting for Smith Island. The candle's really nice. It's like a fresh, beachy smell. Breezy. Really cute. Pretty proud of this one. So for the white candles, I am going to go ahead and use the wicks that come out of this candle. That way, the wicks are a little bit higher quality, but still free for me. The scent of this candle is so amazing. It's actually one of Melanie's favorites. Um, it's very earthy. It has a just a really natural, nice, potent smell. It makes the room smell wonderful. This stuff is so awesome. It has tonka in it. It smells absolutely wonderful. So when this candle melts down, it's gonna go into the white jars and Voila, we will have some really nice smelling candles. Now is the time to pull the wicks straight. Now that they're set a little bit, make sure that they're centered. Now they can 
to continue cooling and we'll clean them up and fix the tops as soon as they're all cooled down. The bakery will also be selling Smith Island bath bombs. There are a ton of these bath bombs. Wrap them up in really pretty iridescent rainbow wrap and these again will be about six six dollars each six to seven dollars each so I can make five the bakery takes the 20 percent which is completely fair because I wouldn't be able to show all the tourists all these items if it weren't for the bakery so I really appreciate them having all of my things for sale there and I think it's another really great grab and go souvenir product if you want something from Smith Island and you see you know cute little rainbowy bath bombs that say Smith Island on them it's a grab and go product the wax is melting we're looking good I'm thinking another five minutes and we'll be ready to fill our white containers These are actually really nice thick wicks, which would be very expensive to buy. So I'm glad they came with the candles. Anytime that you can reuse wicks, saves you money. And I'm always all about saving money. with just a tiny little bit of the wax just to smooth things out and get them real nice and full. Island Bakery, large jar candles, mini jar candles, souvenir candles, little treasure bottles, hand dipped birthday candles, bath bombs, I'm so excited 
that I'm a part of this, that we found Smith Island, thanks to Ellie, and that we found Kathy and Darren at the Smith Island Bakery, who are more than willing to sell my little candles and Christmas woodworking. I'm pretty excited. And I would love for you to join me for my next candle video, which is going to be Smith Island Layered Cake Candles. That's right, I'm going to be making chocolate candles, red velvet candles, and they're all going to be layered in little tiny layers, just like Smith Island cakes. Thanks for joining me. And I think my next move will be to show you the inside of the bakery where all of my candles are gonna be set up. I'm so excited.